Hello, my name is Steve Masiello, the head men's basketball coach at Manhattan College. I played at the University of Kentucky. I was very fortunate enough to be in two Final Fours and win a national championship. And then I served as an assistant coach for 11 years, six of them under Rick Pitino. What I'd like to do is share with you my offensive and defensive philosophies involving pick and roll basketball. The next way we play the pick and roll is what we call a trapping defense. What we will look to do is anytime we go against a great player who uses pick and rolls, we will look to trap it. What we want to do is have the big call it out early, identify our defensive principles and schemes, and switch into it, and then have the guard run to his big teammate's shoulder and form a trap. It is very important while in the trap, we force the guard to what we call retreat dribble and go in a negative direction away from the rim. Once we have accomplished that, we want our hands high to get a deflection on the pass. Another way to go against a great player defensively is to trap all pick and rolls. As the ball is entered to the wing, we'll determine which player we want to trap before the game, and that's due to our scouting. As Scott is coming to set the pick and roll, the big guy immediately is going to start to stay attached and call out trap. As we defend the ball screen, similar to when we blitz, we want to immediately force him to the screen. One of the keys to being a good on-the-ball defender is as I play him, I want to, Jason starts to dribble, I want to reach at the basketball and make him defend the basketball. In today's game, we can no longer blitz out and trap because the guard will just take us on and the big is at a disadvantage. So how we trap pick and rolls now is we switch into it is how we call it and the guard traps it. So the big guy is letting him know trap. Jason starts to come off. He stays even with him. Jason is coming off. His job is to contain. He's containing him. Jason's coming. The guard's job is to run to his teammate's shoulder. And as he goes to his teammate's shoulder, we want to lock legs with our hands high and force Jason out to half court. Once Jason is in a retreat dribble where he is no longer attacking us, it is the big's responsibility to come out. This is now our defensive quarterback, and he is dictating where we want our big to go. He might tell him, go back to yours, or I got yours, rotate to mine. And we'll all read the basketball. Here we go. We're talking early. Drew zoning out. We're rotating, we contain. We're inside, and we're all matched up. And we didn't get hurt. 